Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Jackie from Island Girl Tarot and Sacred Journeys. It is Wednesday morning and it's time for our readings. And it's also time for my coffee because I just woke up a little bit ago. So come on in and have a cup of coffee with me. Ah, and let's just arrive. Let's come on in. Oh, and you'll probably notice. Hey, Tammy girl, good morning. How are you? Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you. Good morning, my love. Come on in. Mm. I decided to do the live on the page instead of the community because sometimes it feels like I'm not seeing people within the community space. So I'm like, oh, maybe people are getting not able to see the live or I don't know. So anyway, I'm so grateful that you're here. Good morning, my dear. How are you? How are you today? Let's go ahead and start with prayer. Ah, good morning, angels, ancestors. Good morning. Good. I'm so glad you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Sunflowers. I love the sunflowers. Oh, right on. So let's call in our angels, our energies of highest love and light, the most beautiful and powerful ancestors and spirit guides and every angelic being or not only angelic beings I feel like there's other beings that want to speak to us ancestors I feel like if there's spirit guides even from other dimensions I don't know what I can't explain what I'm feeling but whoever wants to speak to us today I'm asking that they would have a message for us for our highest and best I'm asking for our hearts to be open, wide open. Just imagine your heart space getting bigger and bigger. Taking in a breath of love and light and goodness and joy. Direction, I'm asking for direction for all of us in today's reading. And may we truly, truly know. Wow, it's just such a deep, profound feeling. I'm feeling like, May we move beyond any shadow of doubt. Wow. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what I heard is, I'm sorry, I'm such a crybaby. <laughs> but what I heard is, may we move beyond any shadow of a doubt that our life has purpose. Wow. Woo. And so it is. Yes. And so it is. Oh my gosh. Yes. May we receive that. Wow. I'm sorry. That no matter what we're going through, our life has purpose. Whew. Receive it. All right. I'm sorry. Tammy, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> you just never know when Mama Jackie's going to start bawling. <laughs> so thank you for whew, being here and Thankfully, all the people that, that are in our space, they know I'm a sensitive soul. So when spirit moves through me, whew, sometimes it's just yummy, but profound. All right. So angels, everybody that's speaking to us, what do you want us to see from this deck? And again, I'm using the, sh um, blah, blah, blah. I can't even speak now, the shamanic healing oracle. Shamanic Healing Oracle. Oh, you're lovely. Hola, amiga. Como estas? Como estas, chica? Bienvenidos. Por favor, tienes café? Tomemos café de la mañana. Si. Sí. <laughs> mm. Tammy, you're a beautiful soul. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me get my glasses on so I can collect myself. <laughs> I can hide behind my glasses. Spirit, what is it the message from this deck you'd like us to know? It's going to be fast and furious. I'm going to have to plug in my phone. What is the message for today, please? What is the message for today from this deck? What is the message for today from this deck? Boy, I know there's a message, but it's slow coming. So go ahead. Buen dia, amiga. I see you already had your coffee. Ya tome café. Come here. Uh, Todo bien en Cozumel? Estás feliz, amiga? What is the... What? You know, this is weird. I've never had this deck not speak to us. 
Okay, there's one. That, there's two. Okay, that was weird. Oh, Tammy, so do you, love. So do you. Okay, you know what? I don't want to lose you guys. I'm going to plug you in. I, that means I'm going to move the phone to the other side of the screen. So hold on, because I don't want to lose our connection here with my phone. It's always on, um, for some reason, it always wants to be on low battery. So it's just, oh gosh, I hope you can see. Anyway, that's good. As long as you can hear me. Okay, so the cards that came out, the first one, oh, is self-love. Wow. Self-love. And I don't know if you can see that card all right. Ah, sí, estoy feliz, pero extraño Cozumel mucho, mucho, amiga. Uh, ex extraño mucho la isla and la mis amigas, amigos. Sí. But mira esta tarjeta. Look at this card. It's self-love. Wow. And the number is 41. So the totality of those numbers are five so change and you know what's interesting is this came out reversed and the number five means change so maybe and maybe that's why that came through so powerfully this morning maybe for all of us that we could use a little bit more sorry about the we could use a little more self-love we could use a little bit more infusion of an, an awareness of how beautiful and special we are. Ah, oh, tu es muy, muy, muy gracias. Tu es cariñosa, gracias, amiga. So yeah, so maybe, maybe there's a part of our hearts that don't believe that we have purpose. Maybe there's something that's really been heavy on your heart that has hurt your heart, you know, that's kind of thrown you off kilter a bit. I mean, I've been there. I've, I've come through many deep emotional cycles. And so everyone, it's, it's, it's okay to say, Hey, gosh, I'm not feeling okay or whatever. And maybe that message this morning really was to truly help us and know and align with, we do have purpose. You know what I'm hearing is our purpose is even beyond how we feel. Because when we get caught up in how we're feeling, that can throw us off our kilter. But whether we feel good or bad or ugly or whatever, that does not shift or change that we have purpose. Our life has meaning and purpose. Wow, that sounds really powerful. Like, we're, we're going to pray about that. And then the next card that came out was this card, Ascension. Look at that beautiful spiral. There's a birdie in the middle and then the spiraling away. I think the spiral, let me see. Oh, guess what? Look, look at those. Those symbols are galactic symbols. So we, oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. We are going through an ascension. And so that's why it's so important. And they, these numbers are 24 adding up to six. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a heart with, yeah, with us. It could be a bandage. <laughs> could be a bandage on my heart. I don't know. Yeah, but I love this too. It's, it's glass. It's really pretty. I like it too. But I feel like this reason, the reason for that coming through so heavily this morning is that we are ascending, we are ascending, and it's important for us to know that we have a reason and a purpose to be on the planet, regardless of how we feel. Because the emotional body carries, you know, sometimes it still carries pain, and sometimes those are echoes, echoes of the pain of the past, belief systems that want to come and kind of still try to throw rocks at us. I know that sounds weird, but you know. But if we can, move those things aside and know and trust and really truly know that our life has a reason and a purpose and as long as we're here in the body we're not done there's a reason for us being here as long as we're in the body hey then that's spirit's way of saying nope we're not done yet and 
and we may be tired. You know, we might need to bump up our self-love. We might have forgotten what, you know, what the reason is. Because things can wear on us being in the body, on the planet. Especially now. Things are crazy. En energies are really, truly crazy. So, please, let's. we're going to do a prayer about self-love. And the thing is, it's from five to six, ascension. We are all ascending. We are all ascending, if you're willing I mean, we are all ascending on the planet. The planet herself is ascending. And look at all these geometrics and these an angelic numbers and the, the cosmic light language is swirling around. Look at that. So I just feel like that's a powerful message for all of us to just really allow our hearts to open, our minds to open, and let the cosmic love shoot an angelic love sorry to wash away any pain and sorrow and belief systems that don't match where we're going if there's something that's telling you I mean these thoughts can be really heavy if there's a thought that's telling you to hurt yourself or to hurt someone else it's not worth it anymore go ahead and give up please those thoughts Gently saying, no, not even gently, like, no, I'm not going to listen to you today because you're from an altered space. That is not correct because as long as I'm in the body, there's hope. There's hope. There's hope. So anybody that, and let's just pray right now before we get in the tarot. I feel like this is super important. That anywhere, anywhere that anyone has in t this time, space, and dimension or anywhere else in this collective, if there are thoughts and feelings that are so heavy that would make us doubt that there's a reason for us being on the planet. I'm just going to ask even now that those thoughts go back to when you came, go back to when you came, go back to when you came. I'm asking for healing of the mental body. I'm asking for healing of the heart space. I'm asking for healing of the physical body that may be in so much pain it's tired and wants to give up. I'm asking for supernatural healing now, tapping into the divine source of cosmic, cosmic love and light, divine source of creation of all that is. I'm asking for an awakening of just an awareness of who we are and why we're here on the planet at this time and space. I'm asking for a deep, deep download for each one watching this that is requiring assistance in this time and space. I'm asking for a download of truth. I'm asking for angelic support to come alongside us and walk with us through this time where we are wanting to give up. We don't feel we don't feel anything. Maybe we've numbed out. We feel lost, lonely, hopeless, despair. All those energies, I'm asking that they would be wrapped up in love and compassion and grace and healing. <sighs> Love, light, compassion, and healing, and hope. And a knowing. The, no the knowing that there is a reason for us being here can wrap around hope. Because hope is almost the edge of giving up, really. Let us know there's still reason and purpose for our being here as long as we have breath. And so it is. And the breath is a spirit of life and love. Ruach. In the scriptures, it's called Ruach. And I'm not a Bible thumper, but I felt like I needed to say that. Sorry. <laughs> but it's true. Ruach, the breath of God. So whatever that means to you today, breathe in the breath of God. So we can be enlivened again. Where we have lost hope. Let us receive an assurance that there is truth and love and awakening happening now. Awakening. Calling in angelic light language. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Wow. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. All right. Wow, thanks for hanging in there, guys. That was a little off the... <laughs> it went off the rail for a second because it was just so powerfully needed. So, wow. Thank you, angels. 
then back to our tarot. <laughs> and now for something totally different. Let's go back to the tarot. <laughs> Let's see what the, the cards want to say. Because I know a spirit just spoke to us. And I received that. Thank you, spirit. Okay, justice. Justice, unfortunately, came out reverse. So maybe the, the feeling of, you know, being tired and hopeless comes from a, a, a sense of life isn't fair. Justice has not been served. So anywhere where that's true, allow yourself to, all of us, not just anywhere where you ha have been like overwhelmed with the feeling of there's not justice in the world, life isn't fair. That's true. Life isn't fair because we're here to sense all the emotions, good, bad, and ugly. And everywhere where life, quote unquote, hasn't been fair, maybe it's an opportunity for us to grow compassion and justice in ourselves. Really, like when we can see the inequalities and the injustices of the world, instead of turning a blind eye, maybe we can, when it happens to us, it's real. And maybe that's what's necessary sometimes to wake us up to the injustices of the world. Because it's so easy to turn away when it doesn't involve you, right? Or at least for me. It's like, I think that's a human nature. It's like, oh, that, that's not in, impacting me, so let's just turn, a, turn away. But maybe it's time for all of us to join together, join forces to raise up the planet so we can all have equality. Justice for all. Justice for all. Oh yeah, maybe somewhere we've been left out in the cold. Wow, this is all really, really powerful. I think that this is a call to heal all the injustices that we've perceived in our life by injustice, being left out in the cold, being broke, being scarcity, you know what I mean? Having things stolen, injustice, like that's like literal. Having things stolen from us, somebody lied to us, cheated, uh, manipulated, all those residual echoes that are alive in the body. Let's really look at them. Don't try to hide them. And don't make peace with them, but be an advocate against that. Oh, this is a weird... When we're an advocate, we're standing with other people's pain and, and helping them walk through that. An advocate. An advocate for justice. An advocate for... Like, what I'm... You know what I'm really hearing is a victim's advocate. And I think this is like something for us, Island Girl Tarot community, okay? If you resonate with this, this is you. But if it's not, just click off. It's okay. But for some reason, to be an advocate is coming through. Because every time we've experienced something, we know what that feels like. And then that gives us compassion for other people. That gives us uh, even a strength of sorts if we don't let it beat us up. It gives us a strength to walk with other people who are also going through that now because we've come through it and we have gained the wisdom and the power and the strength to help someone else overcome that. So it feels like in this 10 seconds, there's something else I want to speak to. I want a, a walking away, a walking away from the energy of being stuck in that situation. We need to walk away and out of that energy of being left out, unjust, injustices, you know, all that victim pain story, blame story. Walk out of that, rec reclaim our power, and be an advocate for those who are walking through it now. So we can say, hey, you can do this. I did it, you can do it. There is hope. There is a better future for you, but you can't give up now. You can't give up now. Yes. So whatever that means to you, that's what's coming through today. We need to ascend beyond our story. And we need to pour in more self-love and self-respect and self-honor. Self and get out of the victim story and ascend so we can be a contribution, even greater contribution on the planet. Again, as long as we have breath, we are here for a reason. And it might not be what we think, right? So whatever that means, allow spirit of God, truth, love, and light, allow the breath of God to lead us. Take a breath together, all of us. Let's take a breath together. Oh, 
And let's breathe in guidance of the most beautiful, powerful energy of the universe to invigorate and to re-enliven us now. And so it is. And so it is. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes, 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 and yes. Oh, wow. I am so honored that you guys are here. I'm so honored. I hope that this was a blessing. It was a blessing to me. Wow. And I'm hoping that something shifted in your reality, your energy body. Let go of the past. Make peace with it. Release it. Bless it. Release it. And bless everyone that was involved. Because in that 10 seconds in time, everybody was just operating at a lower frequency. You know, we've all been there. So try not to blame and shame, but try to rise above it. Because we are ascending, baby. We are ascending. Let's do it. Alrighty. Much love and light. And share this with people who might need it, might be blessed by it. Share, like, comment, whatever. I'm very, very grateful, all of you, for all of you. Adios, chica. Cuídate mucho. Espero que nos vemos pronto un día. Pronto. Extraño cosas mucho. Bye, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.